in the immortal words of the ghost, MC Light. Hot damn ho, here we go again. Let's go! Back to the lab with hand and pen, armed to the teeth with fodder from the very latest in American foibles. I have to admit, sometimes I wish this rogue nation would supply us with all this ammunition because, you see, I'd love to waste time writing about puppies and kittens and fluffy clouds, but it's easier to craft lyrics of disdain about things that hate me, like America, and her prodigal sons and daughters of the full revolution mercilessly lampooned on the lines of this page. But at the end of the day, will it truly bring change? I say again, will it? Really and truly, Mr. Cook, you told us a change was gonna come. It's been 57 years since you blessed us with those words, Mr. Cook. You promised us. See, change didn't come with Obama. It missed the connecting flight to hope. I can be quoted as saying the pen is a weapon. Perhaps if I were to jab it into my opponent's juggler or poison their drink with my ink. I'm not the 60s hippies planting carnations in the muzzles of military police rifles. Sorry, Father, but that's not how this father wants to exercise her power. I don't want to continue being a part of this predictable plot twist where they shoot, we die. We rage, they lie. They no charge, we cry. We hashtag, we wave BLM flag. We get bitter, we black Twitter. Then they get to return to their regularly scheduled racism. Therefore, I assume my father's stance and keep my ear to the streets in anticipation of the next failed insurrection because the next one is coming. Forget prayer posture. There's nooses swinging in the breeze and Wu-Tang Clan told me to protect my neck. Hooter and them so mad that reconstruction was not our destruction, but so sorry, you cannot deconstruct melanin. How can they still find our radiance so important? Why? Roy Ayer said, everybody loves the sunshine. Yes, I do wish that one day they'll grow tired of being the foil for my art. But there they go again with that snack, that so much stink, that trash talk, that diarrhea of the mouth. One has to wonder why they sit on their asses and not their faces. <laughs> Raffle because we aim to curb their blonde ambition, in intent on eclipsing our rays of light with our rancor. Fragile and atrophy because they never exercise that muscle called accountability. But spring is coming, so what are you gonna do? You scribe, Pied Piper, Griot, Foghorn, poet. What color is your noise? It's separation season. Eventually you will have to vacate the safety and security of those Hollywood squares because the real challenge is out in them streets in your schools, your jobs, your churches even. When the hour is upon you, will you unleash the beast or stay muzzled? A Rottweiler's jaws wield 328 pounds per square inch of pressure, so there's no question as to why he shows no fear. So likewise, there will have to come a time when your bite has to be worse than your bark. When your words will leap off the papyrus and form flesh around dry bones, joining together in battle, in living color, parting the seas of hate, and leading the true hearted onward to the promised land. Thank you. Mm -hmm.